Searching for dilapidated auto antiques in hard-to-find barns is a Forza Horizon tradition that goes back to the first game, but in the expansive, fictional England of Forza Horizon 4, developer Playground Games changed how some barns unlock. Ten barns unlock through traditional means by simply making progress in the campaign. You should get an alert for every 45 to 60 minutes worth of driving and racing. The remaining cars are trickier. One requires the purchase of an expensive castle, while the other cars are tied to the game's seasonal cycle. If you're eager to get all the seasonal cars, the most efficient method is to take your Xbox One offline and advance the clock in one week increments. And while the stats menu says there are 15 barns, we actually found 17. Lastly, the order that these barns unlock in is random, so it's likely our sequence will differ from yours. The Ford Escort RS Turbo. This unlocks in Glen Rannock. The hint circle encompasses both the highlands and the much lower areas of the region. You'll want to make your way up to higher elevation to find the barn, which is near a radio tower and east of the Hovercraft Showcase event. The MG MGB GT. This barn hint will lead you to Astmore. You'll find it southwest of the barn icon and directly north of the first O in the Astmore map lettering. Look for the barn shaded by the tree line. Here you'll find a British-made classic that was last produced in 1980. The Mini Cooper S. Finding this one is easy. Head for Derwent Mansion, which sits along the southwest edge of Derwent Water. As you exit the mansion's driveway, head straight into the wood. After a couple of seconds, veer slightly to the left to find the barn. TVR Cerbera Speed 12. To find this rarity, head for the Greendale Airstrip. Look for the barn around the lower right of the airstrip's T layout and above the barn hint icon. You'll find the car among a couple of trees and utility buildings. Subaru Impreza 22B STI. This is one of the trickiest barns to find since it's hidden in the dense wood of Lakehurst Forest. Focus on the northern half of the hint circle and where the off-road trail splits in two. Go left at the split and you'll find the barn left of that path. The Audi Sport Quattro. This version of the German classic appeared to serve a previous life as a police vehicle, which probably proved practical in off-road pursuits. This well-hidden barn is near the Derwent Reservoir map text. Simply go directly south of the S and E of the reservoir map lettering. The Jaguar E-Type S1. This barn unlock appears west of the Horizon Festival site. Look for the small lake within the hint circle and head northwest, past some flowers and up a nearby hill. There you'll find the barn. The Jaguar XJ220. This gorgeous machine commanded a £470,000 price tag in 1992, but for you it's free if you get a barn hint to appear near an open field east of Ambleside. Head towards a cluster of trees in the middle of the field to find the barn. The Triumph Spitfire. This is yet another British motor car among the Barn Finds roster, and not to be confused with the motorcycle brand of the same name. You'll get this when the barn hint appears at the express rail yard. The key is to drive along the east side of the rail yard and look for the fence opening right next to one of the train hangars. Go through the opening and into the wood to find the barn. The Lotus Elise GT1. The easiest way to find this is to enter the hint circle from the west using the off-road path. Go along the path by about 100 yards while keeping an eye on the right. You'll eventually see the barn. The Aston Martin DB4 GT. You don't have to get the James Bond DLC pack to own your very own Aston Martin in Forza Horizon 4. You can get the DB4 in the autumn season. The barn hint circle should appear after a couple of hours of play south of the festival. Look for the large pond at the west part of the hint circle. Simply drive north of the pond about 100 yards to find the barn. The Peel P50. This ultra-compact car unlocks in summer. Using the Gables House south centre of the map as a reference point, head slightly northeast. You'll find the barn nearby in the wood closest to the house. The Land Rover Range Rover. The Winter Barn is a unique challenge since it's on the largest island in the middle of Derwent Water. Normally you'd sink if you try to reach it, but in winter you have a frozen lake solid enough to cross. The Ford GT40 Mark I. When spring has sprung, it'll be worth the wait. This classic normally costs 9 million credits, so it makes a hefty auction payday if you're not a Ford GT fan. You'll find this in the Moorhead Wind Farm. To be precise, it's in the open area immediately north of the first O of the Moorhead map text. 
the Bentley Blower. This antique is the reward for buying the 10 million credit Bamber Castle on the east coast of the map. It's in the middle of the coast. Just look for the castle with the for sale sign. After the sale, head south along the coast to find the barn. It's hidden in a wood about equidistant from the castle and the thatch corner house. As for the two remaining barns, we're not entirely sure when they pop up, but we think they might be linked to a DLC related event. Here's where you can find them. One of the barns can be found at the far northwest corner of the map. Drive to the open area in between Mortimer Gardens and the Glen Finan Viaduct. Avoid the nearby highlands as the barn is closer to sea level. The last mystery barn is on a hill sandwiched between two creeks at the southern coast, south of the Thatch Corner House. The barn is located where the open area meets the trees. So, those are all the hidden barn locations in Forza Horizon 4. Let us know whether you're enjoying Forza Horizon 4 in the comments below, click the boxes on the left for more content from us, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle for more news, reviews, previews and features right here on GamesRadar. Radar.